Hello folks, I'm Dan. I wanted to take a couple minutes today to talk about phase converters. Of course, that's the, the latest and the greatest big discussion is phase converters. And if you're running three phase equipment, should you run a rotary phase converter or a VFD or variable frequency drive? Um, the general consensus that everybody keeps coming up with is get a VFD. They're better, they're better, they're better. Uh, VFDs are the greatest thing in the world. Well, in most instances, I'm going to agree and say, yes, a VFD is going to be a better choice for in your shop if you're running your little home shop and you've only got one or maybe two machines and you can put a VFD on each of those each of those machines. Um, several advantages to variable frequency drives. You uh, vary the frequency on it so you get speed control along with forward and reverse on a three-phase motor. When I originally got my little bench top mill that now has been converted to CNC, it was a single phase motor, uh, either 110 or 220. It only had one direction, had, had forward on it. I ran that mill that way for years, changed belts on it to change speeds and everything, which is a real pain in the rear. Um, now that it's converted to, to CNC, of course, and, and when you put a variable frequency drive on it, you add reverse to it. You've got reverse capabilities. Plus, you don't have to change your belts nearly as often, if at all. And the same is true for a lathe, if you put a variable frequency drive on it. Um, for variable frequency drives, I run one on the little Grizzly mill that's CNC controlled. And I still, it's set up to where I can still manually turn on it. So the speed control on it is set up on a rheostat. So I control that just from a variable speed knob on the, on the control panel. The little mill that I've got that's set up as CNC when I converted it to CNC, I originally bought it as a standard um, single phase motor. It was, I think it was a 220 motor, but it was um, just a single phase motor. Since I knew it was going to be a CNC machine, I converted it to a three-phase motor and put a variable frequency drive on it. And um, now it's it's fully CNC controlled, so the the speed control and everything is done through the programming on the on the um, on the soft through the software. So it's all automatic. It you you start the program and it starts and stops the spindle in whichever direction you've programmed it to do and and um, sets the speed and all that's all that's controlled so if your plan is to convert something to CNC like that then yes a variable frequency drive makes more sense and on my my bigger Sheldon lathe I've got a, a XL lathe an older lathe um, it's got a uh, three-phase motor on it I put a three-phase motor on it and it added a variable frequency drive it's a, a two-horse motor I believe is what's on it right now and uh, it works real well I've got speed control forward and reverse and I'll give a couple of pictures of that at least put a couple of still shots in the alright here's my control box with my rotary phase converter uh, two horsepower three phase motor runs this lathe mounted the phase converter in the control box we've got forward and reverse we've got um, variable speed on it start switch stop switch um, we've added capabilities for a coolant pump on there for flood coolant and tachometer down here so everything's works real well the way it is got digital readout up there so this is the way i i run my lathe um ran for several years with, with on my rotary phase converter uh we've swapped out motors since then originally this this machine had a single phase motor when i got it um, i converted it to three phase later on when we had some problems with that motor and um, it ran on a rotary phase converter and now we've got the extra capabilities of the VFD. I do like the VFD on this machine, but uh, it will do what you want to do with a with a rotary phase converter too, without too much hassle. Other than you've got to change belt speeds a little bit more. Forward speed. My tachometer's got a little glitch here to it. It's uh, it's the pickup on it's dirty. It's run back down in and and reads off the spindle and um, I think I've got a, a bad connection or a, a dirty contact in there. It'll energize everything and it has to come up to come up to power. forward and reverse variable speed either way I 
I've got other things that I run on just a standard rotary phase converter and it's easy and simpler. A, a little Logan 930 or 830, whatever their small production lathe was or turret lathe that they produced. I've got one of those sitting back there. Um, when I originally bought it and I bought it used, uh, it had a single phase motor on it. You had forward direction was all it was on it. Put a three phase motor on it and a rotary phase converter. The, the rotary phase converter actually ran my Sheldon lathe for several years when I first changed motors out on it. So I, it was run with a rotary phase converter. Worked fine. Um, not as versatile as the VFD for that application. The little uh, 830 Logan lathe it's a three-phase motor. I've got forward and reverse. When I put that phase converter together, it was less expensive to do than a variable frequency drive, and it does everything it's supposed to be, supposed to do. Um, if I was setting up a, even in my home shop, if I had something like a little atlas that I'm rebuilding, um, if you haven't seen that, I'll put a put a card up above so you can go and check those videos. But if it had a three-phase motor on it, I'd run it off a rotary phase converter. Belt changes are easy. It's designed as a production lathe. It's going to be mainly run in, in forward. Um, so I'm not really concerned about it. Uh, you know, it's got with the single phase motor, I've got forward and reverse on it. So I'm perfectly happy with that. I would I would not spend the money and put a variable frequency drive on that. I, older machines, bigger machines, um, rotary phase converters are much more economical to put on if you're building a rotary phase converter for them. Um, I've got a phase converter set up for a big Rockford 36-inch uh, planer that I've got that's not here at this location. I'm going to try and get it down here this next year and start working on it. It's always been run. It's got a 10 horse motor on it. It's always run rotary phase converter that I built for it. Um, I built a 15 horsepower rotary converter for that. I've got two seven and a half power motors piggybacked together and it works perfectly well with that. Um, that's actually cost prohibited to put a variable frequency drive on it. Anything over I think two and a half or three uh, horsepower to get a good variable frequency drive on it, you're, it's, it's just cost prohibitive for the small shop. In a production environment, maybe, but if you're in a production environment where you've got several machines and your whole shop is three phase, you're better off with rotary phase converters. So uh, it's, it's whatever works best for your application. Um, there's not a, in my opinion, there's not a one size fits all type of thing. It's going to be what works best for your machine. Um, small shop, one or two machines, uh, mill especially, the, these less expensive mills, um, variable frequency drive is definitely an advantage on them. On a lathe, yes, it's nice to have. I, I basically set it in the, for spindle speeds, I set it in the intermediate pulley set and um, I control that with the variable frequency drive and between that and the back gears on it why that's all the all the more that I need to to have to control that lathe for what I do with it so um, just food for thought you know uh, just because somebody says oh ver or, uh, variable frequency drive is the way to go I don't believe it always is I think there's definitely some advantages to rotary phase converters um, the main one is cost and when you look at some of these guys that have got shop set up with a lot of older equipment and larger equipment that's what they've got is they put one rotary phase converter or even two rotary phase converters controlling the whole shop um, they're usually only running one machine at a time anyway so one rotary phase converter plumb throughout the your wiring plumb throughout your shop um, is a really good option there so that's kind of my little stint on phase converters um, I run both rotary and variable frequency drive um, Variable frequency drive has its advantages for smaller applications. And like I say, if you've only got one or two machines, I've got some foundry projects going on this next year. And for foundry equipment, I want a cutoff abrasive wheel that's going to be a, a stationary machine to um, to use just for cutting off sprues and risers on castings. And then I've got a, a molar that's going together. I've got it partially built. I'm going to put whatever motor I can on those. Those are both one speed, one direction um machines if i come across a good deal on larger three-phase motors why that's what's going to go on those machines and i'll be perfectly happy with that and i'll run those with a with a rotary phase converter that i've got i'll just plug it in and and it'll do everything it's supposed to do so there's advantages to rotary phase converters too and a lot of times you don't need the extra capabilities or expense of a variable frequency drive so a little bit of food for thought there hopefully it gives you some ideas and helps you if you find these videos helpful why go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you Hit the bell notification, you'll know when I put out a new video. And any comments or suggestions, leave them in the comments section for me below. Let me know what you think of this. And thanks for taking the time to watch.